faux whitewash. Now this is a safer way to make an old school lime wash. We use uh, a mixture of just white latex paint, the brightest white that you want to uh, want to get, and we're going to mix it with some water. Now you can mix it with equal parts, more paint to water, more water to paint, whatever you want. So it's your personal preference on how light you want the whitewash to be on this floor or how, you know, how covering you want it to be. We're going to mix a one-to-one -one ratio to start and we're going to see how that looks. Now, first thing you want to do, obviously, is clean your floor really well, sweep it, and then uh, use your shop vac and really, really get that dust off. And for application, we are going to, there, there's several ways you can do it, all right? So you can use a brush. Yeah, I'm not going to use a brush, hence the small brush. It's just for demonstration purposes. Um, you can brush it on and get kind of a streaky uh, look to it, which is pretty cool. Or you can roll it on. I don't really recommend that. It looks weird. Uh, or you can apply it, I guess, with the roller and then wipe it off. Take a, a dry cloth, and, well, it won't be dry for long, but just wipe it into the grain back and forth, forth back and forth. Um, what we're actually going to start with here is this foam applicator. So this is going to make things go a lot quicker and I think it's going to give uh, a nice look to it and it's going to press that paint down in the green really well. After all this is said and done, we are going to take a regular polyurethane uh, sealer, and we're going to seal the top, like a min-wax uh, sealer and uh, just a clear poly, and that'll seal everything up because the, the thin nature of the latex and water, it's not going to really protect it uh, really well, and you are going to want to seal uh, that on top. You can also do a wax, which is nice, but a wax is going to wear off really, really fast, and you want something a little more permanent, especially for my family. I've got a three-year-old running around and uh, dinging and denting the floor. Um, so we're going to want a little bit better protection on it. So stick with us and we'll mix this up and we'll show you how to, uh, to start doing this. So I've got two inches of lukewarm water in the bottom of this bucket, and I'm pouring in an equal part of white latex paint. Consequently, these little tops or paint cans are awesome. I love them. Have a problem with all of them. We're going to give this a, a stir, make sure everything's incorporated properly. It's really thin. I'm going to bring it in here for a closer look. Check this out. So that's our one to one ratio. We've got enough paint left here to do a uh, two to one paint ratio, or depending on how it goes, uh, we might thin it out even more with some water. We'll see. All right, I just want to show you first with the, uh, the rag. So we're gonna dip it in our paint water mixture here, kind of give it a good ring, bring it out. Oops.
If you go with the grain, it's, it's going to soak in even better here. As you can see, it takes a lot of effort to get that in there. In, those, uh, in the grain of the wood. But you can see it's got a, a beautiful look uh, already. And I can see that this is probably going to be the consistency that I wanted. But let's go ahead and use our foam applicator. See if that puts it on a little thicker and see how that looks. This is obviously going on a lot thicker and it's giving a nice look. Now I want to be careful that I stop on a seam if I do stop so it doesn't look like I have an overlap. But I'm going to have to be very diligent about putting it on the same thickness through the entire space and being very, very careful. You can see to the edge here. I kind of feathered it out and we ran through our paint that was in there, but I think this foam applicator is fantastic. You want to make sure to keep your edges wet uh, and go to a good stopping point because uh, you don't want it to look like it's streaky. You also want to feather in to the, the, the area that you painted previously, feathered in and try to get it really even without any stopping points uh, with the sponge, just like a roller on the wall. Well, it's as simple as that. You can see it's turning out pretty well, pretty good. I like it. It's, uh, it's the right consistency for me. And like I said, you can add more water, you can add more paint. It's up to you. That's how you want it to look. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing about whitewash. So let's check this out here. You can see the difference touch up that spot right there, but it is showing the grain through. I like that a lot. It's got the chalky look to it. It's classic of a milk paint, a lime-based milk paint. And let me bring a little bit more light over here. Sorry, I'm doing this at like 10 o'clock at night. There's my little light. So yeah. Imagine this with the clear coat. 
Hey everyone, while we're progressing on our floor here, we're so excited we got the whitewash down. I hope you can see it in the, um, in the shot here and in the, the previous video, how that looks in contrast to what our bare wood was. We're happy with the results, that uh, process of thinning regular latex paint to use it as a milk paint in place of the, the lime, which is caustic. Uh, it worked really, really well, and it gives it a nice, really bright feeling here. It's pretty cool. So what we need to do now is seal this up, because this, as you can see, I've got my socks on. Um, and my pants rolled up because it is very, very sensitive to any dirt at this point. I wore my shoes in here and I thought they were clean. No, they, uh, they had just the tiniest bit of dirt on, on the soles and I had to go and I had to clean the area that I walked just with a little damp cloth. Anyway, what we're going to do is seal the floor here right now. We are using this Minwax Ultimate Floor Finish. I've never used this before. Um, I don't get money from any of these guys, so this is just personal experience of what I found at your local big box hardware stores. These I got in particular at Lowe's. Um, I couldn't find what I needed at Home Depot, and sometimes that's the reverse. Sometimes Home Depot has some stuff that Lowe's doesn't. Sometimes my local hardware store, which I'd love to support local businesses, has more than the other big box stores, and sometimes they have less. You just kind of got to shop around. Anyway, this is the Minwax Ultimate Floor Finish Professional Formula Semi-Gloss, and it is non-ambering. And it says you don't need sanding between coats. Okay, let's see how this works. It says, crystal clear finish with superior durability. And you can recoat in two hours, and it's a full, it's four hours for a full dry. All right. Now, I know for a fact you don't want to ever shake a clear coat of poly uh, because that'll create bubbles and it'll give you a, a rough finish. Use a stir stick and just stir up from the bottom very slowly, very slowly, and uh, that'll prevent those bubbles and that, that rough surface. What we're going to use again is our floor pad, our, uh, our sponge pad here, and these worked fantastic with the whitewash. And so we're hoping for the same result with the, uh, the poly, the clear coat here. I've got a new one on here, and these are made by Blue Hawk. I found these at Lowe's. I found the applicator and the extra pads. This is an extra pad that I bought. So, just to keep things safe and dry, I've got some plastic down where I can pour this, and I've got damp cloth for any mistakes. Let's get started. You want to bring whatever's in the bottom of the can that is settled up to the top and mix it through. So in case you're wondering, each can says it will cover 500 square feet. So we, uh, we're going to test that out here. It says See how it goes. Just coat it evenly and put a thin coat on. And keep the edge moist. Just like with any other painting process, keep your edge moist. And uh, Apply it evenly. It says on the can to apply with a pad. And it's very hard to see. You might need some light to reflect and see where you're actually putting it down.
All right, we can see that the floor has a really nice sheen to it. I did buy the semi-gloss. I don't know if I mentioned that before. I didn't want a full gloss on it, just my personal preference. Uh, I can see there's one tiny little spot right there that I missed. And it soaks in a little bit differently in every area. Of course, this, this pine is uh, soft, and some are softer than others. It's not a high-quality wood, so it's probably going to soak in a lot differently than and uh, unevenly compared to like say a walnut so on and so forth or a whatever ash or anything like that but it's looking nice and I'll do some touch-ups to it let me see if I can get a clear picture they're very light and bright which is what I want and there will be a lighter brown on the wall. It's just my personal preference. That floor is wet or else I'd take you and show you the white uh, purple color that we chose for our daughter's room. Let's see how this turned out in here. This is the master bedroom. This is dry already. You can see the sheen on it. I'm getting some reflection out the window. All right, you can see right here. <laughs> right here, if I can get my finger in the frame. Looks like I missed a spot. Yep, I'm gonna have to touch that out. And you know what? I'm not impressed. Uh, maybe it was an error on my part in the application, but I followed the instructions. Yeah, I'm not a professional, but this is not smooth at all. It's, it's very rough. Um, and it seems very uneven. I tried my hardest to uh, keep a wet edge and keep it even, but I can see just from looking in this direction that it's not. Uh, it doesn't look like it self levels very well at all. I know some other products out there do, and this product, this Minwax Floor Professional whatever I said before, $65 a gallon. Seems pretty expensive for this kind of finish. It said that it would not need another coat. It said that it would dry evenly and smoothly. It said a whole lot of stuff. And again, that may be the way I applied it, but really rough. Now it says you can sand it and give it another another coat, but you shouldn't need to. This is uh, well, nobody's going to slip on this floor because it's got a lot of friction. It's fairly rough. That's, that's really disappointing. Maybe another product like, I don't know, Water Locks, which I've heard somebody mention on their channel, um, gives you a smoother finish and it self levels a little bit more. It's not a poly, it's an oil though. So I don't know if that oil would soak in to this pine after the whitewash, the latex going over the top of it. I'm going to assume partially because this is very thin, but this layer of uh, latex is very thin, obviously. I don't know. I'm not 100% pleased, but I'm 
unfortunately, I'm out of time. We gotta move in Thursday, it's Sunday. And I don't want to go sanding the entire thousand square feet again. I don't feel like spending another $130 plus tax on two more gallons of this product. It may be that we're gonna have to live with this like this for a while. Hopefully it protects it enough. And uh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I gotta move in. I'm doing this the best I can after that crazy flea infestation. There is absolutely nothing I could do about the time frame. <laughs> we're getting kicked out of our rental house, our lease is up. I think all you who know that, who watch the channel know that. And hey, what are we gonna do? I did the best that I could. It looks nice. Uh, it feels not nice. It's not smooth. We're not gonna be uh, sliding in our socks. <laughs> but hey, I'm out of I'm out of answers. I'm out of time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up. Like the video if you. Uh, enjoy our videos it helps us out a lot to make other content like this and yeah give me any comments in the comment section below especially flooring professionals if you're watching this channel because maybe i just made a huge huge error i don't know i followed all the instructions i did research i'm not sure um, i love the suggestions Appreciate it. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks. What a fun process, putting in the floor and crafting something in your own home that's part of your own home. You know, we found some subpar products, but that's all right. We made them work, and it looks very nice. Come visit us at countrylivingexperience.com to see our blog, uh, read our blog, and also to see the recommended tools on our tool store. We'd love for you to jump over there. We'd love for you to subscribe to this channel and uh, comment on our video below. We'd also love for you to check out the video on the right hand side of the screen where we make a leather axe sheath for our marble small camp axe. Thanks everyone.